Well, a month ago, abolish the police was a demand you only heard muttered by crazy people, people mad at their parents. Now it's a major political movement. Democrats are endorsing it. They've rephrased it, reimagine policing. The folks in law enforcement that share the goals of reimagining policing. Reimagining policing in the 21st century. Rethinking and reimagining policing. Community efforts to reimagine policing. To reimagine policing. We have to reimagine what policing looks like. Reimagining policing, reimagining our public safety. Reimagine a citizen led approach. You can begin to reimagine law enforcement. Reimagine public safety in this country. What can we do to reimagine public safety? Reimagining public safety. To reimagine public safety. We must reimagine what public safety looks like. These people are such mindless robots. You must reimagine what safety looks like. In other words, you must accept being much less safe, bigot. It's already happening in Minneapolis. Shootings there have surged, also in New York and Chicago this past month. It's not by accident, it's by design. They knew it was going to happen. They pushed for it anyway. Mark Morgan is Acting Commissioner of Customs and Border Protection. We're happy to have him on tonight. Mr. Morgan, thanks so much for coming on. So what are the practical effects, which, as we know, are measurable, of defunding the police, of reimagining policing? Look, Tuck, you're absolutely right. And I, I still have faith in the majority of the American people. They, they, they can call it whatever they want. Uh, it, it, we know what that means. Look, I, I, I've, I've been in law enforcement for over two and a half decades. I've served in five different law enforcement organizations from the city, county, and federal level. And this is plain and simple. It's dangerous. And Tucker, quite frankly, it's just dumb. It's ignorant. And I agree with something you said in your monologue. Look, we need to stand up vigorously and state why this is so wrong. Exactly. We That's can't right. sit idly by. I, I completely agree with you. Uh, and, and, and look, look, look real quick, do, do we need to have meaningful, intellectually honest dialogue on, on how we can get better? Of course. And let's do that. Let's talk about innovative uh, new training practices we can uh, uh, introduce, uh, persistent and consistent training. Let's talk about new accreditation programs that keeps us fresh and innovative across the profession. Let's talk about hiring more non-sworn law enforcement and bringing them into our department. Those are the honest. If you're honest, those are the meaningful discussions that we should be having that will actually make a difference. Defund the police. Imagine whatever they want to call it. It's reckless. It's irresponsible. And the people that need protection the most are the ones that we're going to leave behind. What are the uh, guarantees since I've been in Washington so long? I know that federal accreditation and training means bringing in a lot of left-wing activists to throw propaganda at public servants until they obey. What are the guarantees the rest of us who are paying for all this garbage are going to get that that's that Robin D'Angelo is not going to be called in to tell the police how to enforce the law for real. Uh, uh, Tucker, look, I'm concerned about that too. Yeah. Over two and a half decades, I've seen a lot. Uh, I've seen a lot of money be thrown away at, at stuff for political reasons, not substance reasons. But I still believe that that if if we have these dialogues, if we vigorously support, if we hold our elected leaders responsible for making sure that that grant funding really goes to meaningful causes, I, I can tell you, uh, the the FBI, for example, they put they host a national academy where they bring law enforcement officers around the around the entire world together at one setting to actually talk about these issues, to right. talk about implicit bias, to talk about how we can get better. Those programs are effective. Yeah, I, I, I don't buy it. But, um, but I'm glad you do. And I'm really glad you came on tonight. Thank you so much. I just think that stuff is so easily manipulated by ideologues and Democratic Party partisans. It's the story of Washington. It's, it's, it's absolutely terrifying. Great to see you tonight. Mark Morgan, thanks.